So basically, this is what's been going on with me. I went to a new doctor like three weeks ago because I was still going to my pediatrician and it was not working out for me. So I went to um, the doctor that my mom goes to and they ended up finding all kinds of crap wrong with me because they actually are real doctors and know what they're doing. And um, so I had to go to um, get some stuff taken care of, which ends up being, okay, I have this thing called prolactinoma, which means that there's something on my pituitary gland, which um, produces too many of the wrong hormones and stuff. So my hormones are a lot of whack and stuff. So um, I had to go to a neurologist to figure, like, there's, okay, there's all kinds of crap going on, okay? So I had to go to a neurologist to figure out um, what's going on and how to fix it. And the neurologist is going to send me to an endocrinologist who is a hormone doctor who's going to straighten everything out because the neurologist said that we don't have to operate because it's not something that typically is operated on because it's actually a very rare thing that happen. Um, so yeah, that's two specialists and then the doctor. And then I got on to prednisone for, um, this is apparently psoriasis. So I got into prednisone for that, which is just a pill that you can take. And then I'm also uh, I have a steroid cream, which I was very, very against wanting to take, to, to use, because I don't like, because steroid cream thins your skin, which can, in turn, you know, make the skin condition even worse, but it's kind of like a 50-50 thing for me, you know, because, like, I'm just, I just need to, I'm ready to just get, get a job, and I have to get rid of this before I get a job, so I'm going to go to the dermatologist in December, I had an MRI last night, I had an MRI two weeks ago, um, and I'm going to have another one in like three months um, because I have to, they have to track it to make sure that the, the thing on the pituitary gland isn't getting bigger. And so I'm going somewhere else to endocrinologist, neurologist, regular doctor, dermatologist. Um, oh, yeah, and I have to go to, um, I can't remember the technical name for it, but it's, it's like an actual fancy eye doctor that's not like an eye mart. Um, an, op an ophthalmologist, I think is what it's called. Um, it's, an, it's a fancy eye doctor. It's actually in a hospital. Um, because here's the really awesome part. The pituitary gland is, like, in the base of your skull. Like, not the, like, it's under your brain. Like, it's, like, in the center, but it's, like, down under your brain. And it's right below your, um, optic nerves. It's, like, your optic nerves pituitary gland. If the thing on the pituitary gland gets too big, it'll start putting pressure on the optic nerves, which will compress them, and that'll be really bad, and potentially no vision whatsoever. So that is really awesome, something that I'm really happy about. Um, but that most likely won't happen if it will be shrunken from the medicine, which I'm going to get from the hormone doctor, I'm assuming. It's going to be some sort of pills or something, I don't really know. Um, but yeah, so I have to go to the ophthalmologist, or whatever you call it, the eye doctor, to get a, like, what's called a baseline reading of my vision, because my pituitary, vi my pituitary vision, my, I can't even think what it's called, this vision over here, your, um, like, the side vision, whatever it's called, <laughs> um, some P word is the first thing to be affected. So they're going to get a baseline reading of that, and if that starts to become any different, then that means that my optic nerves are being compromised, which would be a horrible, horrible thing to even think about. And so um, then that would be an issue, and then they would have to operate, probably. But the thing is, they don't usually operate because they don't usually ever get it all unless they get all of the masks on the pituitary. It's still going to be producing too many hormones, and it's still going to start growing again. It's going to affect my vision again, and all kinds of other crap, and it's just, so that's what's been going on with me, um, I haven't been busy with anything else but this, basically, like, I was looking for a job before this, and I was, you know, actually considering, like, starting to live a life, and then this happens, so, that's fun, so I can't do anything until I get all this taken care of, because I don't know if I'm gonna have to have surgery in a couple weeks, or a couple months, I don't know if I'm going to, you know, I don't know what's going on. So, yeah, this video is really long, but I said a lot. And now you all know what's going on. And that's it, basically. And, yeah. Five minutes long. That's really awesome.
Um, now we didn't post a video this week. Shreya had candy, which I think it was just chocolate covered pretzels, but it still looked good. Um, and it was so funny when you were like, it's a bat, caca, caca. That was so funny. Oh my gosh, it was funny. Yeah, we did get into a lot of deep crap with that conversation, didn't we? Because we had like a really light conversation, then we had like a really deep conversation. It was kind of weird. We kept going back and forth, but I like when we do that. Cause we do that a lot when we talk, actually. Ghost Hunters was fun. Uh, it ended at midnight, which was weird. Um, it was a six hour investigation. I think they were going to investigate more after it ended, but the live special ended at midnight. Um, my mom was asleep by like 12, 10. And so, like, I was just like awake and ready to talk to people, but I don't think I talked to anybody. I don't remember talking to anybody or doing anything special at night, but story of my life. Um, yeah, it's like seven minutes. This is for Donkey Kong, so I'm gonna edit this hopefully below seven minutes, and uh, I'll talk to you uh, Monday and Wednesday. I guess probably, hopefully, sometime over the weekend. Probably not now, like, because I don't even freaking online anymore because she's so freaking busy. But good for you, whatever. I <laughs> uh, love you, girls. Bye.